Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to be working on a new problem as part of GoMath's 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. It's number 43 on the CSET Multi-Subject Math and Science Teacher Certification Exam in California. This is a good problem because it reviews some basic ideas in geometry involving angles. Let's jump into this problem. We'll read over number 43 and then we'll talk about um, some of these ideas. It says, Triangle ABC is isosceles. Angle B has a measure of 120 degrees. What is the measure of angle A? All right. Now we have all these geometry words here. Triangle, isosceles, angle appears a few times, measure and degrees appear. So we're dealing with an, you know, a geometry angle question you know, involving triangles. Very common stuff you see on every type of uh, exam. Some basics. You should remember that if we're looking at a triangle, any old triangle, that all the, the inside angles, these angles here, they're all going to add up to 180 degrees. And sometimes we say the inside angles of the triangle, A plus B plus C, they all add up to 180 degrees. Now what I want you to do is I want you to draw a picture of what this triangle ABC could look like. Pause the video. That's right, pause and draw. <laughs> I want to see what you get. Don't just do this in your brain, do it on a sheet of paper. Okay, unpause. I'm hoping that when you're drawing your picture, first you, you drew a triangle and you labeled it A, B, C. And you labeled the B being 120 degrees. Okay. Now, we don't know what A and C are, but since it's an isosceles triangle, we know that this angle here is going to be the same as this angle here. So I could just call this, why don't I just call this X? And this is also going to be X. They're the same because it has two angles, with that, two angles that are the same. So we could write this sentence, 120 plus 2X is equal to 180 degrees. Ever, everyone agree with me here? I don't know what they are, I just know that when I do this, plus this, plus this, it equals 180. And since I have two x's, two unknowns, I'm going to label it 2x. Now, I've, now I have an algebra problem. I just do my subtraction out, and I get 2x is equal to 180 minus 120, or 60. Do my division, and we get, you know, our, get x is equal to 30. Okay? Alright team, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Have a great day.